My name is Benjamin Danielson, or Ben. I'm a pediatrician. I work for the University of Washington in the Department of Pediatrics. Um, I use he, him pronouns. The center I'm working on is really about supporting other people's work. Every time I hear somebody say, uh, your center is going to do this or that, it really won't because um, societies don't change by one person or even a few people's actions. The program is called ASHE, um, which is an acronym for Allies in Healthier Systems for Health and Abundance in Youth. The acronym itself, ASHE, is really significant in, uh, in a lot of different communities, especially black communities. It kind of is a signifier of some combination of uh, let it be so and maybe amen and um, I'm with you in this and let's celebrate together, perhaps. I really was trying to support a center that was all about what's possible instead of what um, is not possible. And what's possible to me is that every young person, no matter what path they've been on, no matter what they've been uh, subjected to and traumatized by, has incredible potential to do amazing things in this world. We have a systems right now that shuttle especially black and brown young people towards prison and away from opportunity. And it's systematic and it starts very early, it starts before they're born. And it is uh, such a uh, defined pathway that uh, for me as a black male to have gotten to my age without having been in prison is actually relatively not common. That's really sad. And I see every day incredible kids who face incredible uh, circumstances and still have amazing promise. I also, I guess, I'm trying to be a, a physician and scientist about this and really recognize that young brains are still developing brains. Even 20 year old and 22 year old brains are still actually being honed and developed in order to make the kinds of judgments and decisions that help support participation in society in its fullest forms. And honoring that is really, really important. That should be a hopeful statement about anyone including myself who've made mistakes and missteps in our lives. And uh, it seems so unfortunate for us as a society to rob ourselves of the opportunity of the gifts that all these young people have to offer. Brain development is so fundamental to this question of, of youth incarceration, as is um, the incredible imbalance of our mental health, uh, lack of systems, lack of support, especially for communities of color, but pretty broadly as well, as is our misunderstandings about what, what maybe justice really should mean, what safety could mean in communities and what what uh, the idea of, uh, of hope really should mean. When it's come to the issue of really addressing anti-racism and the kin of racism, the forms of oppression that so many uh, of us have faced in different ways, in different walks, um, so much of the time, the business community is kind of the untapped resource. It's the, it's it's been on the bench and ready to go in, in, in some ways in my mind and um, underutilized as a powerful, powerful resource. In other ways, I think the business community has also taken opportunities to lead the way in things, um, but even then, not always appreciated. So I think the idea of lifting up that role is really important. I also really appreciate uh, GSBA uh, just because you play such a pivotal role in convening. So bringing a host of organizations and business folks who I can't say with, from my own experience, but I guess might not interact quite as much if it weren't for the, the space, the, the table that, that you create. I think also that um, when you do that kind of convening, you can really uh, bring important questions, important challenges and important opportunities to uh, this wide uh, array of folks, this really incredibly large uh, community of, of partners that you work with. I think also there's this interesting opportunity to um, to be like business, right? To be the place that like uh, takes a risk based on a value, which I think is the reason most businesses begin, right? You take a chance because you, you have an idea or a value of something you believe in. And I, I think that's a mentality that is going to be critically important to make differences in issues of racism and its kin. You can be the smartest person in the world with all the data. You can show all the evidence about what happens and the harm that's done. And, uh, and 
too many people will still not want to hear it. Uh, it takes a little bit more than wise discourse. It takes passion and risk based on a sense of values. And I think that the business community can teach me a lot about how to be a really good risk taker, about how to um, bring people together and convince them to do something that they might not have thought about doing before, about helping the, us all understand how we're interconnected and how uh, this is a place of great abundance that my uh, advancement, my success, uh, my community's advancement does not happen at the expense of some other community's advancement or success, that we actually all do better when we support each other's success. Uh, that was, those are lessons I think uh, that we all, all of us in society, need to be learning more from places like uh, organizations and business communities.